Gonna put a little bit more blue. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, anyone who's just come here from the uh, lovely James Stephanie Sterling stream. This is the bunny hat that we were talking about before that stream started. I need to do a little tweet to say we're live, and then I think I'm good. Oh, hey! We've just had a wonderful, lovely little raid go on. Um, hello, everyone. We're doing, we're doing Deltarune. I'm going to give it a minute before we get started, so anyone who doesn't want Deltarune Chapter 2 spoilers has a chance to leave. Um, but yeah, this is... This is the lovely hat that 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 uh, Phoenix and the lovely the lovely Steph. Um, I I got a hat and a little birthday hat. I'm begun the same. Thank you very much for the hat 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 sub. It's look. I'm gonna tell you exactly how my birthday went. Um, about halfway through the day, a box showed up, and it contained this hat. And for the entire rest of the day, any time anyone did anything, I was just sat there in the in the back of, back of the room, just going. Just doing that all day. It was the it was a fucking lovely birthday. Um Right. Um I didn't have my birthday on a train. I had my birthday in my house with the lovely Steph and Fee and my wife Jane. Um, today's Jimquisition that went up was recorded on my birthday about five minutes before we recorded the pod, the Polycule Podquisition. It was a pretty quick turnaround. Right, um, I think we're about ready to go. Um, but yeah, hey, before we get started, I have to do a bit of self-promo because there's a, there's a heck of a... Heck of a thing that happened today, and I need to I need to show everyone. This is a book called Who Hunts the Whale. Um, myself and my lovely wife Jane have been writing a novel together for the last six months. Um, let me find a link and put it in chat because I suspect some of you who enjoyed the lovely Jane Stephanie Sterling's content or my content will probably enjoy this book. Let me put the link in the chat. It is a it is a novel about a very fictional, definitely fictional, very very fictional. I promise you, it's fictional. Um, uh, year in the life of someone working at a big AAA video game development studio called Supremacy Software. Think you're very big, makes AAA titles on a yearly schedule, lots of microtransactions, that kind of company. Definitely fictional though. Um, and about someone having first-hand experience undergoing all of the bullshit that happens in the video game industry and working out how to respond to like, oh yeah, you my dream career, oh no. Um, Chaotic Ayana, funny you should ask, it is fictional. It's, it's very definitely fictional. Um, may I tell you my favorite fact about this cover design we have here? Oh hey, look how down the bottom of the script, but down the bottom there's all the people working on the game. You know, they're, they're working, working down there. Then right up the top there's all the executives with the money. And you know how there's, you notice how there's a floor in the middle? Where there's, um, no way, no way to make your way up to working in the, the upper echelons where all the money is. There's, there's a weird lack of ability to make that particular climb within the company you see. Ah. Uh, Definitely not inspired by real events, definitely not. Um, Vordelia, what's that on my head? The lovely James Stephanie Sterling got me a hat for my birthday and it's got floppity ears. It's very good, I like this hat a lot. But yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah, the money's not trickling down for some reason in that cover art. I wonder why. Why don't you consider pre-ordering um, pre my book, Who Hunts the Whale? Um, I'm real proud of it. It's my first time doing long form fiction and my first time making a book with my wife and I'm really excited about it and people should people should check it out. Anyway, now that anyone who doesn't want um anyone who doesn't want Deltarune spoilers is out of the way, we're playing Deltarune chapter two. Um last stream we did of this, I fought the secret optional, very difficult secret boss of chapter two. I beat them on the fifth attempt. I did very well, I was very proud of myself. Um so yeah, I 
I was very intrigued because after we beat the secret boss, both Susie and uh, Ralsei were both like, are you, are you sure you're okay, main character? You Something's weird and I I don't know whether defeating the, the secret difficult extra ba bosses is like fucking up my character somehow and making them, making them, making them, making something bad happen to them. But there's no time to worry about that. Let's let's just be be pro gamers and go go do pro gaming shit. I want to refight that tough boss. I had a real good time with it. I didn't respect the pottery. Fucking disrespect my surroundings. I mean, mobile suit M the. Oh, I didn't realise if you just leave Susie, she'll just kick all the pottery herself. Oh my god, this is perfect. Oh. Yes, um, yes, the management position on that book cover does have a, a certain ticking time bomb. Hmm, that's, that's gonna blow up in their face at some point, one would imagine. How many do I have to do before Susie will start doing it for me? I'm curious now. Oh, is Susie leaving some for me to destroy? Oh yeah, we did come. We did go through this room. I remember this. I'm trying to work out. Okay, I don't think we ever went up this flight of stairs. Is there any other exit from this room? Uh, probably not. I'm trying to just reacquaint myself with where I've been and where I haven't. Oh, Susie is best character, clearly. Oh, do I not have to... Oh, oh, I have to avoid these. Oh, this is not what I thought it was. Oops. I thought that was somewhere I'd maybe been before, and it was like, ah, you've, you've been here, so you don't have to collect them. Oh, Susie's best character. Susie's wonderful. Oh, welcome to the second floor dinner party, section A. Please help yourself to anybody's food. Okay. Hey, it's me, the hacker. No one's figured it out, but it's me. Keep it on the download. Oh, there's a mouse pointer. Ew, this guy keeps telling everyone at the party he's a hacker. I don't know what to do with this information. Yes, yes, Queen is right. Send her a report, send her a report. Couldn't agree more. Send her a report. Send her a report. I am Mousy Million. I stand leagues and inches above all other mice. Only Nubit remains above me still. Ah, uh, lovely little Nubit. Ah, Nubit's moving up in the world. <laughs> you got a wig and everything. Go you, Nubit. Oh, oh uh, shit. Uh, here, yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, my day today has been like chaotic as all hell. I, before we continue, I have stories. So uh, I was on the Jimquisition today. That was exciting. I finally got to do a thing with Steph. I'm real proud of that video. Book went up for sale for pre-order. That's exciting. Um, I went and went and saw the lovely Dame of Sophie for a little bit today. I worked on secret project for the future, and something arrived in the post I have to show you all. I've, I've got an exciting thing to show you. So, many of you who listen to Podquisition or watch my streams will remember the story of the, um, the all-powerful moon goddess. A little bit of a refresher while I find this, uh... Yeah, I, I've been getting spam emails for like six, seven, eight months now. Every day I get these little spam emails telling like a, a whole narrative. And the short version is, oh, hey, um, you're an all-powerful moon goddess. Um, let me sell you $100 um, trinkets that are going to unlock your moon goddess powers, definitely. 
Um, oh, you, you're not buying that you're the Moon Goddess. Okay, you're the reincarnation of the Archangel Michael. Uh, the world's gonna end if you don't save the world with your Moon Goddess powers. Um, Etc. All, all this kind of shit. So, I've been keeping an eye on the tat she's been trying to sell me. Because, like, I've been like... Look, some of this is custom shit you're making. But some of this has to be weird knockoff tat that you found on, like, Wish or AliExpress or somewhere like that. And I finally found one. One of her hundred dollar trinkets that is definitely gonna unlock my all-powerful Moon Goddess powers. I found it for three pound. And it arrived today. This is my fully charged moonstone that is going to activate my all-powerful moon goddess powers. Um, it's a really, like, look, outside of anything else, it's it was three quid for a very nice, powerful feeling object. I feel very powerful while I hold this. It's got a real good weight to it, a real good sturdiness. Very smooth, very soft, very nice tactile feel. Um, yeah, it excavated from the core of the moon itself. Uh, to activate my Moon Goddess powers now. Uh, so this just lives on my desk. And I will say, I think it has worked. The day it arrived, I was on the Gymquisition and I had a successful book launch and I got to see a friend. I think that's a very successful first day as the Moon Goddess. If you don't, uh, do, uh, mayhaps agree. Oh, I do transform into my Magical Girl form, but I don't do that on camera, you see. That's, uh, that's, that's for pri private times. Uh... uh yeah. Okay. So hopefully this is a two-way shortcut to the first floor. Oh, yeah, this is just a nice shortcut down to a... Save point. Oh, lovely. Oh yeah, subscribe to the Patreon. I'll uh, you know, I'll I'll show you my magical girl transformation, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Have I read the bookshelves? Uh, not the ones down here, I don't think. It's a cybernetic bookshelf. There's a book here about shortcuts that open up later. Ha! <laughs> ha! There's a book about shortcuts that open up. I see what you did there. What's up here? I don't want to go through that doorway in case there's somewhere else for me to be going. Okay, there's another door here. Yeah, taking estrogen is just very slow magical girl transformation, if we're all honest. Like, over the course of many years, I've magical girl transformed to now have a little bit of cleavage. <laughs> Uh, room has been closed due to kitchen vermin. Oh. I guess we'll go this way. Oh no, they're all so scared. Oh no. Oh me, oh my, the kitchen is infested with vermin. I knew we should have properly clean finished dumping all the cheese in that alleyway. Ow, ow. The mouse can't get me up here. Even if the stove is burning my feet, you could turn the stove off, sir. Mm -hmm, house! And it's not wearing a wig! A Delta Starfire? You are lucky you are certainly not the everyone result. I took considerably longer to get there. Oh, a mouse wheel. Oh no. Okay. Uh, what do I do with a mouse wheel? Oh no. Oh, is this the scroll wheel on the mouse? It's a mouse wheel, I see. Okay, press Y to, uh, oh, oh. Oh, I have to catch the whole swarm, I see. Oh. Oh no, it's taken me the best part of a decade to be like, I have, <laughs> I have an actual cleavage now. That took a lot, a long time. Okay, right. Roll it, rolling around at the speed of mouse. Rolling around at the speed of mouse. I mean, that makes sense 
Sonic the Hedgehog was Mr. Needlemouse originally. Uh, Val, thank you very much for the Bezos bucks. Uh, no, no, uh, we need to catch. Yeah, got places to go, gotta follow your rainbow delta. You, I'm glad you understand. Oh my god, these mice are firing fucking Kamehameha's at me. Ah, no, ah, no. It's a good hat! Stefan. Stefan B got me the hat. It's. Mmm, it's a good hat. Oh, Echo, there is some kind of good book news. Oh, hey, let me remind everyone I'm making a book. It's called, uh. It, it's, it's called, uh. Something about whales. I've had a long day. Um. Who Hunts the Whale? I was like, I'm pretty sure it's Who Hunts the Whale, but I don't want to fucking get my book title wrong on stream. Yeah, look, there's there's a little paws that hang there's a little paws that hang off the hat, and the paws make the ears flap. Yeah. But no, me and Jane have been writing a book together for six months, and ah, I'm excited. Uh Yes, people, check out that book. There's a link in the chat. It's a book that you might like if you're someone who's like, hey, maybe the video game should be less um terrible and predatory and may maybe maybe that that's Oh <gasps> Oh Okay Hooray we did it we got rid of the cats I think this means we can backtrack to the other room Yeah it's 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 my first time doing um yeah we need more game game development cooperatives. That needs to be more of a thing. But um yeah, it's my first time doing fiction outside of like six, seven years of doing Dice Funk. And it's my first time like working on a big project with Jane and I'm very excited that it's a thing and I hope that people enjoy it because we've had a really good time working on it. Okay. Oh, welcome to my extravagant dining bonanza. Oh, yes. Only one of these delicious platters has the key. I am sure searching will be an addicting game of chance. Oh, how the hell are we going to search all these? Okay. Six cubic, yes. Um, Who Wants the Whale is based on a running skit from Queer and Pleasant Strangers with Jane. Um, If you're a long time Queer and Pleasant Strangers listener, you might be able to imagine... The six-word title that book might have had, but legal stuff sometimes prevails. Um, oh, did you mean give up? Oh god! Oh, oh no! Oh, this is like the fucking trash cans in Pokemon, except worse. Okay. Delta Starfire says, I think I might know which boardroom some of the book may take place in. Hey, the the, the book entirely takes place in the boardroom of Supremacy Software, and don't let anyone tell you it takes place in any other boardroom. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's got to be something else we can do. Can we just walk through the door? No, okay. Look, uh, my understanding is we would have had every legal right to say that the book was happening in a certain other boardroom, but also- Oh! Oh! I saw something moving, it's this one. Ah! Come- ah! What, ah! <laughs> um, but yes, just to be extra safe, Supremacy Software is a company that might exist now. Um. I, uh, wait, wait, wait a second. Was that the Toby Fox dog is under the platter? Oh! Oh, I see. Oh, I can just fucking knock all this shit over. I understand what's happening now. I mean, look, it's not... It's it's not... We're not going to be having boardroom meetings with Cotty Bobbick. Um, it's... It's Rick, Rick and Chad, because... 
that's about the most generic, oh my god, terrible men names I could come we could come up with. Um Oh no, the oh no, the key's broken. Oh. Ah! Thanks, dog. Oh, we're almost at the third floor. Hello, Raiders. We're, we're doing Delta Room Chapter 2. I can't imagine we're that far from the end. Like, I don't know if we've got enough to get us to 1am tonight because uh, we beat the secret boss. We're, we're doing real good. The Supreme Table. You won't be able to use this without the Throne of the Gods. <gasps> oh, okay. Um, yeah, Cartastrophic, uh, no worries. Have a good... Day. Um, and same to Big Titty Cough Girl 2K. Um, the Throne of the Gods is, um, yeah, I, I might, I might do some Hades or something if we finish this. The Throne of the Gods is a big stack of, like, chairs stacked on top of chairs stacked on top of chairs from Toriel's classroom in the school in the real world. It's just a bunch of chairs stuck on top of each other referred to as the Throne of the Gods. Oh. <gasps> And now we need it to get over a bunch of tables stacked on top of each other. Oh. Okay, uh, right. I remember how we do this, so. Um. We need them all the same colour, so if I. Warmify you. Defend. Okay, and I think I need to half warm that yellow one. I think I colded it too much. Okay, yeah. So defend, half warm you, and defend. I think that will do it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Gotta, gotta match three. So that's where we came in. We got a room here. Oh, oh, they're all fucking UFOs. Oh fuck. There's gonna be something good under one of these. I hope. Game over to a room full of weird UFOs. Okay. Oh, are we gonna have to redo? Oh no, we did this. Okay. I didn't know we could kill you either. I'm gonna be honest. I thought I was immune to like. I thought those things could damage me, but not deal killing blows. Okay, we know what we're doing now. We can skim through this. Ah, oh, quick. Ah, oh, no worries. You know, this time I won't skimp on the healing. I'll, you know, actually fucking do it. Looking for a table with no legs. Aren't we? Have I misunderstood this? Oh, do I have to open some and make it do... Do I have to do it wrong a couple of times before it will let me do the thing? around the room this time. Yeah, through the 
Yo. We got this. Okay, I understand how this works. What I want to do is probably... Actually, you know what? Let's just defend. Half warm you, half cold you. Oh, green. How wrong is green as a temperature? I thought green... I thought we had this right. Does green need to be cold? Colder? Warmer? Does it need to be warmer still? Uh, Pat Pease, I somewhat agree with a similar theory. I think that Susie's going to end up an amazing healer at some point. Um, right. Well, yeah, last time we did a full warm and that was too much warming for the blue one to get it to orange. It went yellow. Yeah, now it's yellow. Ah, uh, right. You know what? Before anything else, I'm gonna use uh, heal prayer to fucking get some get some health up before we do the UFO room. And we can once again do that. We can get a heal in. Maybe yellow's cooler than orange? I... I don't know. I don't think it is. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do one more heal. You gotta think the room... Yeah, the room doesn't usually have a hottest to have temperatures involved. Yes, yeah, so it needs to be warmer still. Yeah, it needs to be warmer still, right? Yeah, still warmer, okay. I thought I overshot it when I did the half warm before, but apparently not. I thought I did a full warm with Chris and that overshot it and I ended up having to cool them down again and that's why I didn't do it then. Yeah, let's... Let's make sure we have as good a health as possible. Up we go. Cool. We're going to do the platter room. Yeah, my suspicion is that Noelle and Be uh, uh, Birdly probably aren't going to be permanent party members. They're not going to have... I don't think they're going to be permanent party members. I think that we're going to get a couple of different classmates every chapter, is my guess. Like, I'm guessing there's going to be a Temi in the party chapter at some point because that's like a guaranteed um, way to fucking win over fans. Okay, I got a glow shard. Cool. Like, I feel like that's gotta be... I want to count how many party uh, people there, uh, students there are in the classroom, but my gut says maybe there's ten students in the classroom, enough for two of them, or maybe nine. Let's not count um, Ralsei, but I think every chapter is going to have two people, most of which are going to be from your classroom. Oh, Hem Temi's hardball deck is going to be a great healer. <laughs> Ah. Oh, are we just climbing the heights of big tall robot mummy statue? Yeah, nine nine desks, they're three by three. Yeah, exactly, right? So 
I think we got we got one from the first chapter with Susie because we were paired with Rousey, but I think the other four chapters to get up to chapter five, which is the the main chapters until they do six and seven later, are gonna be two party members per episode, would be my guess. Um People in the I don't think we're gonna get people in the city. I think they're gonna stick this primarily on the school kids being the ones to um, yeah, to, to go to this fantastical world in the school. Oh, Susie's the only one who drank the coffee. I should have gone left. Yeah, Chris, Susan, glad to see you are alive unwounded. Now let us hasten. Through here is a secret passageway to the roof. There we can in rescue Faid Lady Noel. Okay. I don't trust the secret passage. I feel like the secret passage is barely selling us out, right? Uh, Chris, Chris is, uh. Chris, you and your lackey distract Queen. Let's, uh, go, Susie, the two of us, huh? Yeah, this is f a fucking trap, right? Oh, it's T because they're teacups. Yeah, you're right. This is a fucking trap. Like, I can tell you what the trap is now. Um, Noel like uh, like Susie. Uh, yeah, likes Susie. Su uh, Noel likes Susie. Beardly likes Noel. Beardly thinks that if he gets rid of Susie, he can have Noel. Like, that's what I'm putting my bets on. Oh, um, Chris, do you think? Could be as some um, your lackey. Oh, dot next next tab. Thank you very much for the very niche specific compliment. No, of course not. Uh, oh, you you mean you think of me as more than a lackey? Yeah, of course. I'm not gonna fucking be like, hey, friend, friend, more like lackey. Ah, uh, there's a book here about preventing backtracking. Aha, I see. Also, hey, if you like my book about video game butts, maybe this other book I have a link to in the chat. Okay. Hmm, right. Uh-huh. Oh, you're watching a video of the fountain. The night created the fountain and this world. Oh, we actually... Okay, this is the first time anyone's told us who the night actually is. Um... Both of the optional bosses have talked about the knight. Um, God, yeah. Uh, Jevil talked about the knight. Um, and so did... What's his face from this chapter? Um, Mr. Deals, Deals, Deals. Okay. Might be even more powerful than Queen, for now. The Queen has been very interested in this video recently, where the knight creates the fountain by his own hand. It's that and Cyber City's funniest home videos. Spamton, that's it. Yeah, Chaos King... Yeah, did as well. The King talks about the knight, yeah. So the knight's never been talked about in any specificity. Um, main, like, the most people have talked about them is the, the convoluted ramblings of the slightly lost their minds uh, optional bosses, who it both seems like... That it seems a little eldritch. It's one of those. Maybe I'm getting the wrong vibes, but the vibe I get is, oh, I know too much about the night. I fucking lost it. Um, yeah, today's dinner entertainment. I've heard it's called the birth of a fountain. Huh. There's someone creating a strange miller of smoke. There's so much smoke, it's hard to tell who it is. Asriel's the night. Okay, I. Yeah, the fact that you that you're like, oh, there's so much smoke, we can't see who the knight. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be Azrael, right? Right? I I feel like Azrael's being built up. We know that Azrael's coming back in a week. We know that there are seven chapters, and it seems like they're gonna be one chapter per in-game day. I feel like we're, I feel like Azrael's gonna be at the end of this. Um, secret passageway construction. The 
The statue of Birdly is wedged into the toilet. You glance back at the bathroom door sign. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, ew, a, a giant, a giant lake of acid. Oh, you mean the free pool. <laughs> oh, you will learn to love it like family. Oh, uh, why do you have this? Oh, it's my mansion's energy source and fun to drink. Uh, there was a guy back there by the bathroom. Okay, I'll go back and look in a second. Bye-bye! How should we pass this? Um, oh, no. Uh, Susie went into a secret pa- a Be Beardly was like, a Birdly was like, Hey, there's a secret passage, we'll go save Noelle, but like, Oh, we need you two to go distract the Queen, so only, only Susie can go with me in the secret passage, and I'm pretty sure they're trying to off Susie off screen. Um... Oh. Uh, oh, I oh, I suppose this would work. Um Glenkasu sure expl uh, give me an explanation of the bathroom person that I didn't see, I guess. Um Oh, we've got to think of some way to distract the queen. Oh, I'm so distracted right now. I want to go visit the tiny house. Oh. Oh, what are these little houses? Oh, just tropical villas for my guests. Isn't that thoughtful? How would anyone fit inside? Oh, shrink from the acid. Chris, get the banana! I'm gonna get the banana. Oh, that's okay, Kira, it's good for you. Oh, I didn't activate that house. Did I need to add did I need to activate the house? I thought I was just activating them by passing them. Okay. No, nope, couldn't activate that one. I don't know how I'm activating them. <sighs> okay, something blocking the way. Maybe we can find a way to get rid of this. Okay, not that way. Okay, yeah, I see what they do in here. But, like... Okay, so if I do that, I can come up here. Okay. I get to that castle. How do I? How do I castle, please? Oh, I can't do my three-part moves because yeah, I see. Yeah, because we don't have Susie. Shit. 
Revive Dust. Is that going to be, uh, yeah, for the whole party? All party members revive, but only to 25%. Okay. Please note our mice will turn at every crossing. Our vermin have been specially handpicked for higher turning. Can't go that way. Oh no! Okay, I understand what this mechanic is now. So that'll get it to the house at the bottom? Okay. If I change that one, it'll go up, down, up. Yeah, that'll get the other house? No, I didn't account for this. Oh, it goes up that turning as well, doesn't it? Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay! What is this dungeon? I, I did a magic high five and now I can progress. Okay. Nice. to say. It's, um, nice spending time alone with you like this. Ah. I thought Rousey had a thing for Susie, because I thought we were, like, uh, we were triangling. Rousey likes Susie. Susie... Well, I think, I think Susie likes Rousey. Noelle likes Susie. Rousey apparently likes Chris. I think Beardley likes Noelle. We got a whole teenage drama going on here. Uh, do we say it's nice spending time alone with Ralsei, or do we say that it, it does it feel nice, or does it feel strange? Yeah, six cube, and I've kind of got the same vibe. Like, there's a certain like Ralsei gives off vibes of. I have a friend. I don't know how to distinguish that feel from romantic affection. Like. What is friendship? What is romance? Ah, they're the same fucking thing. Um, oh, Rousey is a goat, hence of pan vibes. I like that. Okay. Yeah, it was alone until yesterday. I'm like, oh, suddenly I have friends. Suddenly I have friends. Um, well, I mean, I can say it feels nice to spend time alone together, without that inherently meaning I want a romance, right? Like, it's okay to say, yes, I enjoy a time alone with you as well. It's nice for the two of us to have time together. So I'm going to say that. Uh, Cynic says spoilers. I don't know if it's because someone said a spoiler. If they did, I didn't know. That. I don't fucking know. Uh... I'm, I'm uh, happy hearing you say that, Chris. When we first met, I um, I was so nervous about the first impressions. I even hid my face so you wouldn't see. How do I even be a friend? 
<laughs> oh no, did I spoil the fact Ralsei is a goat? Adult witch, how dare you spoil that Ralsei is a goat? <laughs> All I have to do is be nice, is what I thought. But I'm starting to realise being friends is more than that, isn't it? Susie, sometimes she isn't nice at all. She's selfish, she's rude, she's sarcastic. But isn't it wonderful that she's her? I agree. Ralsei, I thought Ral... I, I worried that Ralsei wouldn't get on with Susie because Ralsei's such a fucking goody two-shoes. Um, I mean, it, as with the name of the stream, um, Ralsei so far, other than our like conspiracy suspicions, has been pacifist good baby. And Susie is... Not that. And I'm like, I'm glad you can respect Susie being Susie. Um, oh, Cynic, you were doing a joke where you... Well, mm, the last couple of days of um, mm, Deltarune streams have not been fun joke times when it comes to spoilers, teehee, etc. Oh, is what I started thinking today. And of course, Chris, it's nice that you're you. It's nice that Rousey is Rousey. It's... We're not saying it's nice that you are you. Hmm. Oh no, it's all right, Cynic. It's I, I was merely explaining why I'd gone like, oh wait, did something happen? We had a few streams, even though I had like no spoilers. Spoilers were abound. Um, let's see. Yeah, why? Why are we talking about Rousey in the third person? Um. Yeah, like I, I, I have my suspicions that we're doing the under the Undertale genocide run thing of as soon as we at the end of chapter one touch the fountain and started to not be quite ourselves and threw our heart in the in the cage that night. I think we are like it is. It is no longer the main character doing their story. It is us doing the story. I think it's one of those. Uh -huh. Oh, um, no one's. No one's ever said that to me before. I, I, I mean, everything's a first for me, but um, hearing it from you, uh, it means a lot. Everything's a first for you. Did you only come into existence like when we bumped into you? I just wonder what uh, being Ralsei like even is. Sorry, haha, <laughs> I got off track. Ralsei is a baby. But like, hey, Ralsei, it's really important to do the work to understand who you are. Like, it's great that you're making all these new friends, but don't let that consume who you should be. You gotta, you gotta take time to work out who you are. Let's just enjoy the ride, Chris. Oh, I will protect, I will protect Ralsei with my life until it turns out that Ralsei's actually the evil secret villain. Oh wow, Chris! Uh, look at all those houses. I wonder what'll happen if we change their colour. <laughs> Thou worms really th No, all oh, this is a rules card. <laughs> Thou hast Oh, thou hast worms really as thought No, what was Rules Card's voice? Oh yes, so, sort of sort of like this. Thou hast worms really as thought of Thou hast seen as the last of me. Yeah. Super dark, sure, I guess. Tell, tell me the thing. I guess. Um, yeah, rules card was temporarily a key item in our inventory, and then he was like, hey, why is there no evil boss minions I can work for around? Fuck it, I'm out. He's gone to go find um, Queen to go... Yeah, to go to go be a minion for. Ugh. Oh, ships ahoy of land lovers. Artest thou ready earth to visit if Dearmith Jones is lockereth? Oh, could you could you not speak with more than one accent? Yes, it's alright. Mr. Fools, I just remembered Lancer. He's not well. Oh, d oh dear. Didst thou um, try burping in him? Perhaps, perhaps just give him a sip of medieval ginger ale. I have to do. Tr I have to do pirate meets posh man. Yar, yareth, yareth. Waiteth. I have not time to spare it on such. 
frivolities. I must conquer it, this island and defeat it thou. Then gifteth her a succulent island's presence. The beautatious queenest shall rewardeth me. By making it her le me her left hand man. Ah, me, the ultimate minion. Thou beholdest the form of thou destructoire. <gasps> Whatever this thing is. I'm so glad we made it a duck. It's an effigy of an ancient god of combat. <laughs> you rescued it from the king's trash heap. I see. Okay, cool. It's, it's a duck. Ah, it's my blue ducky. Yeah. Um. Fox Winchester. Toby Fox is such a genius. He did know we'd all just make a fucking duck. Um. I don't which I agree with you. Lancer is a chaos baby and Rousey is an order baby. Ah. Oh, fuck. Um. The, the duck relate re is going to reluctantly fight us. Oh, no. Okay, um... Take... Wait, I started with 21% TP? We're doing a little conquest. Who can get the most houses? Okay. Ah, uh, 1% shy. Okay. Just in case. And you're gonna take two. Uh oh. <sighs> okay. I'm trying to work out, like, is there a tactic of how I should be claiming these houses? Because it sure seems like. Okay, so I can only do ones that surround the ones I've already done, so I need to make sure I don't get blocked off. Uh, oh, I see, yeah. Can't build on enemy territory, yeah, so it's about not getting blocked off of areas to a certain degree. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's... Oh, it, yeah, maybe it's go? Uh, Catgirl Lily, I have started reading your comment and then saw it was spoilers for how to do well at this. I'm not going to continue reading it. I am doing this myself. Perfect. 
Okay, so what I want to do is, like, find an entire avenue I can block rules off from. So if I go there and there, rules can't take any of this top corner. Oh no, I've got to take there as well. So yeah, those five are mine now. I'm going to try and take some of this corner. Uh, have a good night, Delta. Okay, we only have like 10%, so I can only take like one. That's fine. I'm just going to have to take as much as I can from over in this little corner. Yeah, you're going to take that whole corner. Wait! The game is over? No, there's a whole corner I can still do! That's... No! You... I should have had multiple unin uh, uninterrupted turns up in that corner! Oh, fuck, fuck you, rules. Okay. Rules is stuck, so it's over. Oh. Oh, did I win? Because Rules had no spaces left to place anything. I thought Rules said he he won in his dialogue a second ago. Uh. Oh, um, so what happens now? Uh, uh what? Oh, uh, you had more houses, so uh, what does that even do? Yeah, glad if thou asked. Glad if thou asked. Oh, you don't have any plan, do you? Shut it, your nuppeth, and behold my truth power. Oh, beholdeth, fools, the real power of rules card. Oh, God. Oh no, we're gonna have to save save him again. Kako Lily, I'm sure you can beat rules. I was going to beat rules. I had slightly more than him and five he couldn't get to. Ah. I will I will actively complain that to poor bit of game design that I was like, oh yeah, I'll shut him off from a thing and I can pick them all up at the end. He had one more house than me, but I had five houses unclaimed that he couldn't get to, but I could. I know, I'm just... I'm grumbling because I came up with a good strategy. Um, yeah, I, I came up with a good strategy that was going to win me the game, and the game was just like, no, that's not how it works. I'm like, well, you should have fucking explained the rules to me better then. Um... Yeah, Slim King Mike says, you lost because the game ends when one player cannot make any more moves, but they still win if they have the most real estate when that occurs. Yes, but what I'm saying is, A, that's shitty game design, and B, that's very shittily explained game design. Like, if I can get, if I can get rules card into a position where he cannot make a move... Either that should be an automatic loss for him, he's in a stalemate, he can't win, or at the very least, like, I should get one more turn to place my remaining things down to it. It's, like, it, hmm. Yeah, rules, the rules card did not explain the rules very well. You're right, Adult Witch, that is exactly it. Uh, oh, the ride's almost over, Chris. Um, there's a camera, should we, um, pose? Uh, I'll have a nice hug. Oh, Chris! Did, did, did it really take a picture of that? Um, let's keep going. That might be one of some one of the quickest decisions I've made in this whole game. It's just take, take a nice hug with a friend. Artist, thou going to leaveth me. Thou hast even aren't even going to showeth me the picture. Fuck you, rules card. Your rules were bad. 
Oh, that was a nice boat ride, wasn't it, Chris? Oh, we should have chosen rude gestures so we could be the fuck squad with the rude gestures. Oh, Chris. Are you wondering how Susie's doing right now? I'm very wondering. I think Susie has been, like, murdered in a fucking passageway. But a bandito having a hug with Rousey doesn't mean you're dating them? Is it dating Rousey, who might be your brother in an alternate dimension, is it dating them to go, I enjoy the time we spend together, just the two of us, it's nice. Also, let's have a hug when we take a picture. Uh, well, uh, well then, why don't we close our eyes and think about what she's doing now? Oh, it's that thing from chapter one again. We're gonna, we're gonna play as, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, what a, what a strange moon. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. This world. I wish Des could see this. Who is Des? Also, I thought we were closing our eyes to see how Susie was doing, not Noelle. The moon's a fucking baseball. Um, Gumba Master, is that a thing I could know already, or is that a thing that I'm going to find out later? I, I don't, okay, I don't remember learning that earlier. Oh, um, oh, is, is someone there? And did it during the time of the city? Okay, completely forgot that then. Oh, um, wait, what are you? Hey, you, you can't capture someone who's already captured. <gasps> oh, Susie. You, you saved me? This is a dream sequence. This isn't really happening. Susie wouldn't have done axe murders on the enemies. This is short for December. We spelled out December earlier. Okay. Okay, I see. Um... Don't get used to it. Uh, oh, am um, I one? Cool moon. Oh, um, yeah. But it's weird, isn't it? How did we get here? Oh, what, what even is this place? Uh, uh it's, uh... You're, uh, just having a dream. Oh, Susie can't, is being like, no, it's just a dream. Don't worry about it. Six cubit, we did hug the goat. Uh, huh? Oh, oh, that's, that's right. Right. If you're here, it must be a dream. Oh. Oh, Noelle, you pastel disaster gay. <laughs> oh. I mean, the real Susie probably wouldn't save me, would she? She probably doesn't care about me at all. Uh-huh. Why would you, uh, think that? Well, she doesn't care about anybody. Well, well fair, but, uh, do you ever wonder why Susie never picked on you? All the time. Maybe it's because when she first came to class, you let out one of your pencils. Like a dumb uh, candy cane looking one or something. And even though it didn't actually taste like candy, she uh, remembered your smile and uh, decided to spare you, you know? That's, uh, really specific. Yeah, well, uh, wait, did, 
Did you say you ate the pencil? I mean, look. So, do you uh, dream about me a lot? Yeah, Ollie can. Susie had mutual feelings the whole time, but like, Sue, I 100% Susie not clocking that Noelle has feelings. Because like, look, Susie gives off big vibes of like, me when I was 15. Um, real, real self-loathing and therefore being like, outwardly like, no, no, I, I don't fucking need anyone, don't need anyone, don't need anyone. Um, don't, which is like, in you know, you're masking a don't deserve anyone. And I feel like that's Susie's vibe. I feel like Susie doesn't think she deserves love and support. And as such, like, I can totally see Noelle being, like, very clearly smitten, just fucking flying over her head, right? Uh, yeah, Susie pushes people away. She doesn't know how to receive affection. Exactly. I, I was the same kind of, um, gothic emo disaster lesbian waiting to admit that. Yeah, Echo, I hate myself, so why wouldn't everyone else hate me too? Like, that's... that's Susie's vibe, right? Well, uh, time for me to get back to my project. Uh, okay, Susie, uh, hit me with your axe and wake me up! Uh, uh, wait, no, I can't do that. Uh, why not? It's, uh, just a... just a dream, so... Uh, um, I mean, uh, didn't you wanna... Hang out some more. Oh. These good disaster lesbians. Toby, Toby Fox, you got a real good knack for writing good, soft lesbian content that I very much enjoy. Um, I like these two. I like Alphys and Undyne. I think they're adorable. Um big buff fight jock and tiny disaster nerd. Very good. Very good energy. <sighs> I, I guess Beardley can wait a little longer. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, get out of here then. Oh, Susie's looking for an excuse for them to spend time together. All we got to do is head to the right over this, uh, over here on, uh, uh, this heart-covered ferris wheel. <laughs> oh! <laughs> What's the goddamn hold I've got on already? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What the hell am I supposed to do, uh, here? Oh, Pappy's again, I- don't worry. I know it's real gay shit. I- you, you're not being subtle, but I thankfully already had it. I've had all of the season two Owl House gay shit spoiled, I know. Um, Chris would know what to do. Uh, point and hearts come out. <gasps> Eat moss! No. Ah, oh, choices. Ah. I did interact with the Ferris wheel poster back in the city. Um, Emos. Maybe Chris wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> so, uh, Ferris wheels, huh? Kind of makes you wonder what uh, car they were built for. Uh, it's, it's, uh, different than riding one with Chris. The hell's wrong? Are you scared of heights? Oh, no, no, I love heights. <laughs> You're, uh, shaking. Well, well, um, maybe I'm a little scared, but, um, I... T t t to be honest, I, I actually like scary things. Mm. Go mm. So, chat is... Okay, chat is talking about, um, Toby Fox and writing of gays and learning from Andrew Halsey. Um, as I've got some Andrew, I've got some quibbles about Andrew Halsey and um, gay representation, but also I did see a really good observation about Delta Rune specifically that, uh, and I suppose that applies to Undertale as well. Toby Fox, 
Got a good vibe, good knack for writing woman love woman stuff that lands. Cool, good. Puts a lot of effort and work into it. I think it is fair to note that Toby Fox has a considerably different level of investment in male love male gay rep in games. Um, and I, I, the way this was pointed out to me, and I think it's a very good observation, is yeah, Undertale had a very cute little gay scene. Can you tell me literally any personality trait of either of the two guards, the two male guards that fell in love? Um, at, like guard one or guard two, and I'm like, mm, that, is a, that is a good point. I, I know them as guard one and guard two and do not know anything about them other than, like, it was very cute doing the gameplay interaction to make the two of them like, hey, maybe, maybe admit you have feelings for him so that the two of you can go off for ice cream. It was very cute considerably less depth than any of the Woman Love Woman <laughs> character stuff Toby Fox has done. I don't think that's necessarily terrible, but it's a thing to be like, oh yeah, ha. Huh. Um, it's, yeah, like, they, if they loved guarding things, that's their personality. Guard 1 says bro a lot and Guard 2 is quiet. Like, look, I, I'm not gonna deny it was real cute having a hey help 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 a cute coming out story. It was very cute, but it's not comparable to say, you know, Alphys and Undyne or I guess here Noel and Susie. <laughs> Yeah, they love guarding things, bros, and each other. Um, Toby, I don't believe has anything, ever said anything about sexual identity, and that's not anyone else's business. I'm, you know, it, it. I'm not saying this is a criticism. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm purely saying, huh, observation that I hadn't considered. Um, oh, uh, uh, what do you mean? Oh, when we were little and my sister would stay up and go past our bedtime watching horror movies. At first I cried, but now it's... I, it's it's like watching them, uh... makes me feel comforted. Comforted? I guess I do like slime and blood. It's, uh, scary, but I can just turn it off, right? Now it's mostly people that are scary. You can just say you mean me. Uh, well, uh, I, I guess you too, but, um... But that's, uh, what, what's nice about you, you know? Nice? The hell does that mean? Oh no, Noelle... No Noelle likes dangerous girls. No, Noelle... Noelle's totally gonna end up being a please do big steppy type, right? Like, that's, mm, Like, oh no, I like my... 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 crushes to be like, but leather jacket spike wearing bikers that smoke weed. Like, Noelle wants a little little danger gal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, you're the good kind of scary. Yeah, mm, there have been many times where I've I've said this to women. Uh, yeah, but you're you're the you're the you're the nice kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as Echo says, I like the kind of girl who'll actually kick my ass. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Super Dark, I did that section of the stream on Friday, like three days ago, I don't remember. You uh, aren't afraid to break the rules, you know? I wish I could do crazy stuff like you. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna do something nuts. So uh, if you could do something crazy right now, uh, what would you do? Um, well, I, um... I I jump out of the window. Uh huh. It, it's stream, right? I I grow big angel wings and fly as far as I can, gazing back at it all and the skyline light shining like holiday lights. That's kind of beautiful. Wait, you wouldn't seriously jump out, would you? <laughs> no promises. 
Susie? What do you think looking out there? <laughs> Me, uh... <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh. <sighs> I need to... I need to not fuck these two up. Here's the thing. I think if you say something romantic, it's going to be the dorkiest, least cool thing Susie's ever said. And I think... Well, yeah, no, I think both of these could be gay. Like, I think you could have the, like, try and say something cool to impress the girl. But, like... I feel like... I want to I wanna see Susie try and say something romantic and really fuck it up, but that'd be really endearing, right? Uh... Uh, seeing everything. Whew. Seeing everything. It's more makes me feel like, um. If I was Suzilla or something, I could wreck the whole city. <laughs> you gave up on romantic real quick there, Susie. Uh, what? Is being Suzarella something you think about a lot? Is that Suz Suzilla? Oh, uh, like. Oh no, I can't be honest about this. No, I just just made it up now. <laughs> Does your tail always do that when you lie? <gasps> oh. <laughs> uh, hey, you, don't look at that. I don't have a tail, it's part of your dream. <laughs> oh, right, uh, s sorry. Guess I just have to check in real life too. I don't. <laughs> ah, Susie, everything okay? Look, I just um, uh, I just don't like people knowing about it. Uh, well, I think it's a nice tale. Whatever. It's wagging. Susie's tail wags when she lies. <laughs> You, uh, stop shaking. Oh, um, guess I got comfortable. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, uh, that wasn't too bad. Yeah! Ah. <sighs> if only I could dream like this every day. <laughs> Maybe, uh, maybe it doesn't have to be a dream, you know? Susie! Maybe, uh, someday we could... <laughs> ah, Noel, my lady, the cavalry has arrived to rescue you! Oh, the good part of the dream is over! Oh, it's fine. Beardley's gonna help. We're, we're, we're allies. Uh, yes, don't worry, Noel. I'm stupid now. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> Look, I've got to save the day now, alright? Uh, 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 good luck, Susie. Right, now good boy, it's up to you now. <laughs> Leave it to me, my dear Susan. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. May the smarts be with you. Don't worry, I'm stupid now. It is mm, fucking good shit. Ah, she left me before I could. Ah, Noel, it's hard to say this. You've done so much for me, and I, Noel, I'm I'm sorry. Oh, Beardley, you're actually apologising. Thank you. I I understand. You know. You've always been nice to me when it's just the two of us. You just wanted to make a happy world for me. I'm glad you realised, um, it s sucked. Ow. Huh? Uh, I mean, yes, I, I was, in a, in a way, apologising for that, but, uh, I also wanted to apologise for leading you on. This is the face of anyone who ever has to make the realization, oh, oh, this incel thought I was into him. 
Yeah, I know you only wanted to help me out because, well, uh, you had a crush on me. So, uh... What? Oh, sorry, please don't be embarrassed. It's understandable, but I have to tell you, uh, I really value your friendship, okay? So I, uh, I bet I had to pretend to reciprocate those feelings. <laughs> <sighs> I, 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 never. Uh, furthermore, I think I may have uh, discovered someone else for me. Uh, please don't be jealous. Of Susie. What? 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 Oh. Oh, so that's why, uh... Uh, Geronimo. Oh, Geronimo. <laughs> Miss me. Uh, of, of course not. Just kidding, that was a sarcasm. I missed you. Now we go work on your delivery. Anyway, let's go. Okay, up we go, up we go. Okay, where wire? Oh, you are, you are, like, hard mode of that enemy, huh? Haha, <laughs> Adult Witch says you are filled with the power of gay disaster teens who don't know how to talk about their feelings. I mean, yeah. I often don't know how to talk about my feelings. I went many, 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 many years before telling a certain someone that I liked them because I am a disaster gay who does not know how to talk about my fucking feelings. Okay. Okay. Okay, how are we doing percentage-wise? 44%. I'm gonna be honest, Echo, usually there's chemical help involved when I'm like, yeah, I can talk about feelings. And or, ah, 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 fuck, ah, uh, I have no alternative, feelings time. Occasionally feelings just gotta be done. Uh, Pixel Chat, I did the, the hidden boss at the end of last stream. I did it on I, my fourth or fifth attempt, I beat the boss. I did it real quick. Um... Phoenix, I don't know how long I'll be streaming. Um, probably another hour in order to go raid over to the lovely Comrade Zimmerman, I think is the plan. Um, depends how long it takes us to finish um, the Delta Rune chapter. This might try this might carry on to Wednesday, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Oh, Comrade's not streaming today. He did not tell me that. Um, well, in that case. Maybe another hour, we'll see see how I'm doing awakeness-wise and how close to the end of the game we feel. Uh, Steph might have announced Conrad wasn't streaming tonight. Conrad didn't tell me Conrad wasn't streaming tonight. I didn't catch the end of the Steph stream because I was watching it on a train on my way, uh, on my way home from going to see Neymar Sophie and others. Yeah, I became a big shot last stream. The big, the big, big shot. 
There we go. Look, I might stream until 2am, it fucking depends on how I'm doing. I have work to do tomorrow and stuff. Oh, Echo, um, have a good lurking time and maybe sleep. Just a sec. Mm, you... Whoa, the statue rocks. Hey, Rousey, can we take this to my room? You stole the Susie-like statue. Okay. Uh, never seen Noel wear anything like this. There are catalogues of search results. Things that wouldn't be made into objects. Is Ice... Is Ice-E real cryptid? Uh-huh. You stole the icy statue for some reason. <laughs> it's a calendar. Every page is the last month. Every day is the 25th. Uh-huh. Oh, it's it's December 25th. It's Christmas Day on all the days of the calendar. Oh, there's a big... Su You're right, Adol Witch. There's a big Susie statue in the room that the Queen made for Noel. Ha! Huh? Noel has a Susie statue in her room that was decorated from Noel's internet. Search results. Okay, I see. Okay, it's a wardrobe. Aha! Uh -huh. Well. Aha! Uh -huh. Made it, took a few hits, but I got through. There she is. Queen, stop, Queen, stop right there. Oh, my sweet idiot children. Oh, yes. You are just in time to witness my world domination with Noelle in my possession. It is only a matter of time before her will turns and she unleashes her power, blanketing the world in... Oh, too late, dumbass. No one else with Beardly. Oh! Then who is this? Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, oh Beardly, but, but he's been... Oh, intercepted. My control plugs are now suitable for teenagers. Now the whole family can enjoy eternal servitude. Sort of regal, mostly... Sort of regal, mostly cruel laughter. <laughs> yep, the dronification shit's back. Wait, then uh, where's Noel? Oh, laughter becomes more cruel. <laughs> oh, I wonder. I actually know the answer. <laughs> Notification fun for the whole family. Enough already. Oh dear. I do sincerely quite like you two. It will be a shame to force you to serve me. An enjoyable shame. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah. So, before we do anything else. Do not confirm or deny either way for me, but I'm going to talk about... I know more about the evil root of this than I should do, but I'm going to theorycraft based on what I know. So, based on the name of the root, I assume it involves um, Noel, particularly also because that's where I was told to do a double save point. Um, my assumption is that the root has to either be to do with something terrible, horrible, nasty happening to Noel, or making Noel do something terrible and nasty and horrible. My suspicion is that the Queen keeps talking about, like, using Noel to, like, cover the world in ice and, um, terrible, hor horrible, like, do do a big end of the world event with Noel. I imagine Noel is more powerful than we're giving her credit for in terms of, um, ice magic. 
this chapter talked about the fact that you can actually kill people and get experience, which you couldn't do in chapter one because they would just run away. I think Noel can kill people. I think chapter one you couldn't kill anyone, you could just make them run away. I think Noel can kill people, and I think that's... I think that's the thing that, that is to be done. And I don't want to know whether I'm right or wrong, but um, based on the too many things I got told, that's where I'm leaning right now. Um, but yeah, let's see. Yeah, Cinnamon Robin, I'm not sure I want to play a route that's going to involve horrible times for Noella. And maybe that isn't what it is, but I don't remember the exact name, but it was something like Snow Murder or uh, Death Snow or some shit like that. And I'm like, okay, it's got fucking me to do it, Noelle, because Noelle has ice magic. Um, but yes, anyway, we're going to stop talking about that and we're going to do the boss fight. Okay, Queen is defenseless, huh? And we can't- oh, we can't even... We can't even target Beardly. Okay, group loosen. Everyone loosens Beardly. Okay, yeah, so you're using Beardly as a weapon for us to... Okay. Rousey fucking melted. Okay. Oh, we've got to make her drink from her acid. I see. Ah, ah. Ah, oh, big, big, big robot lady do steppy! Ah, oh, ah, oh, she do big fucking steppy! They fucking know, they fucking know what they're doing. Have a big sip of acid. Okay, now is the time for the fucking revive dust. Ah! Oh no, fucking internet searches! Oh no! Heals everyone 50%. Smells like overclocked high heels. Ooh. Oh. my percentage on Beardly doing? Ah! Oh, lasers and Steppy! Ah, oh, fuck. Ah! Okay, I can't even check the percentage on Beardly. Okay. Yeah. Gonna make a perfect world full of everyone's internet searches and never gonna be happy. Perfectly happy. Um, this is gonna be Okay, so Queenie's trying to be um mold from season eight of Dice Funk. 
I just want everyone to come into my world and be happy all of the time. I'll give them everything they want based on their internet fucking searches. Okay, group toast. She sips from her acid. Yeah. I, it was said earlier the Queen wants to expand the dark world to encompass the light world. Queen wants to be the Matrix, yeah. Because that's the thing, if she can expand the dark world to cover the light world, she can make everyone's dreams come true plugged in the Matrix. Everyone can live in their perfect mansion, every day blissfully worshipping me like we both deserve. Yeah, they can have their perfect life in the Matrix, they'll just have to worship me for eternity. Yeah, I, I see. Ah! Ah, bad internet comments! Ah, oh, fuck. Ah! Yeah, yeah, adult witch, I am aware of Saints Row Enter the Dominatrix being the thing that was gonna be a thing. Oh my god, Birdly's fucking Twitter. He's the fucking blue bird that, that is an, an annoying know-it-all incel. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, you're literally controlling Birdly now. Yeah, but that's only for him. Are you saying Birdly wanted to be dronified? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to get at? No, no. <laughs> Sudi does not want dronification. At least not right now. Okay. I think I drank too much of this battery acid ages three and up. Oh, you're just fucking combining all of the shit into one thing, huh? Okay. Shrimp acid. Perish under my bosom. Perish under my bosom or whatever. Hey, chat. Perish under my bosom or whatever. <laughs> chat, don't. Twitch, don't be mad at me for. The video game told me to do it. Ah! Ah! Fuck! Ah! Ah! Fuck! Ah! <laughs> bosom and perish. Pez perish in the bosom. Okay. You've uh, survived my regular attacks, but I've been secretly been downloading my ultimate move the whole time. Perish in the b the bosom of my hellish rain. Perish in the bosom of my hellish rain. Oh no, ah! There's fucking pop-ups everywhere, ah! Oh! I survived that pretty well! My final move was supposed to be cooler, but the internet is down. Oh no. I too struggle to be cool when there's no internet. Oh. 
<gasps> Ew, not bad, you foolish children. What the? What are you doing? Why is my control wire working? Oh, thanks to my comrade's kindness, their mercy. Now, it's time for me to take my freedom. Queen. He may have mastered num the number three, but you can s but can you stand up against four of us? A running simulation for the number four. Hmm. You are definitely going to kick my ass. Unless... Oh no, what that? Oh no, what that? Also, the tower in the background looks like the mouth of the king from the first chapter, the uh, Lancer's dad. Right? The, the smile there, it's totally fucking Lancer's dad's face. Oh, you, you. Yeah, I know it's the fountain, but what I'm saying is the fountain looks suspiciously like Lancer's dad, and I don't think that's an accident. Alas. Beardly. Oh, just now was nothing more than simple bravado. Yeah, I don't deny that it's the animation from chapter one. I didn't really acknowledge it in chapter one that it looks a hell of a lot like Lancer's dad's smile. That's all I'm saying. Um... It specifically looks like a smile, and it specifically looks like Lancer's dad's face shape. Now, the truth is that wire already absorbed all my succulent energy juices. Oh, Beardly, hey, hey, Beardly. Uh, everything getting dark. Only, only a kiss from a beautiful gamer girl can save me now. Beardly, you can just fucking lie there and die. Like, I literally don't fucking care. I too have had moments where only the kiss from a beautiful game of girl could, help, could save me now. The difference is, um, less incel, more lesbian. Better odds of it working out. <laughs> Beardly. What? Like, get your, like, like, get your, like, losing consciousness and stuff, but could you speak up? Oh, sorry, sorry, suddenly I'm feeling a lot better. Yeah, that's a relief. Well, uh, gotta hurry and save Noelle. Oh, dear Susan. So enigmatic in her ways. But I can read her heart, Chris, like a health meter. And it's beeping. For love. <laughs> well, enough tales, Chris. Good luck. May the smarts not be with you. Uh, okay, um... Uh, recruits. How am I doing on recruits? Yeah, I got all the recruit, all the recruits so far. Look at, look at that. I got them all. Uh, which stray pixel is driving you nuts? Is there a stray pixel somewhere? Oh, this one little pixel over here, I see. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. It was the same one that was on Chapter 1's Battlefield. Okay. Well... Oh, Chris, your deep concern for me is... is dextrose. But stay sanguine, my fellow bluebird. I'll help find a way to help you yet. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Okay, yeah, it sounds like he accidentally left one in Chapter 1, and when people pointed out, he just added one to Chapter 2 to fuck with people. Beep. 
Phoenix, would I need to backtrack? And if I can't backtrack, oh well, I missed some stuff, I'll get it on my next playthrough. It's okay, I'm playing this the way I would be playing it if I was playing it myself off stream. It's okay if I miss some stuff. <sighs> oh, the night. The rolling night. Did I deign to create this world? Oh, so has the world literally not existed prior to us arriving in it? Like, I thought the o the, the portal to it had opened today. I didn't realise, like, this world didn't exist before today. Oh, reaching its long hand to the sky. It coursed its will into the blade and made thrusting the fountain from the earth. Okay, so hand and a knife, thrusting and creating the world. I'm wondering w whether Chris stabbing themselves and pulling out their heart is what created this world. Like, maybe that is, the, like, uh, maybe Chris is the knight, uh, crafting the world by some dark ritual. Um, Gumba, I'm ass don't correct me if I'm wrong. I'm assuming she's using it because she's referring to what to her is perceived as an otherworldly being, an unknowable deity of God. Like, I'm assuming this is... No, you don't use pronouns for someone who's transcended existence and can create worlds, I guess. Um... Hmm... Yeah. Yeah, things in the Dark World have their own history. Because my question is, are these worlds being created with history already within them? Or... Well, because here's the thing. All of these kingdoms originally were like one thing, right? So is it just... A world was created and these royalty were taking, say, from Rouse's kingdom and thrust into these new worlds? Yeah. Oh, unfortunately, the world they created is trapped within the confines of the library. If only we had a way to make more darkness, we might be able to cover the whole world. That is when I realised this power, this power of will, this power of determination. Yeah, Phoenix, that's mysterious, isn't it? Uh, it's not something... Uh, is this not something that all lightners possess? If one was simply determined enough, could not anyone make a dark fountain? Yeah, determination. We're, we're, we're talking determination. So then, if the knight has taken its leave, then I will simply make a new one. Okay, so the knight could be just anyone who has enough determination to just bring a new world into being. Oh, Noel, honey darling, sweetie gravy. How do you find the giant hand? Great! And how do you feel about world domination? Oh, ouchie mama! Oh, Susie, did you just... Uh, uh, okay? Oh, oh, Susie, you came to save me. Somehow I... I knew you would. Uh, you did? Um, I mean, I... well, um... Wait, 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 you need to get out of here, hurry! Huh? Oh, Noel thinks this is a dream. I've got, mm, I've, I've got an idea. Oh, here she come, big, big, big robot steppy lady. Oh, um, queen. Oh, seems that you failed to notice the giant freaking robot in the middle of my palace. No, I, I noticed, I noticed the big steppy robot.
this isn't good. She's invincible like this. Uh. She, she's been bragging about her final form all day. <laughs> you think growing a few inches is gonna help? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, are we cool to take over the world now? Uh, uh, Susie, let's just give up and, uh... Hell, if we're giving up now. Uh... Sec. So, what if you just got another form? We got one, too. Chris, Rousey, come on. <gasps> oh my god. What? What are you doing? This is our ultimate. Uh, wait a sec, now that you mention it. Oh no, it appears that I am evenly matched. Oh, have a good have a good day, adult witch. I hope it goes well. Um, have a chill one. Well, I hope you won't mind if I don't hold back. <laughs> oh, with all the uh, you try flapping your arms. Oh, fear not, your knight in glowing the dark armor is here. <gasps> Chris, Susie, my energy is still too low to help you fight. So I found help for you. Behold, comrades! On your quest against the queen. You've made all sorts of buddies, right? Using our junk making skills. We modified everyone to work together. Oh, I shall also take his credit for this. <sighs> yeah, Chris, Susie, behold. The ultimate group project. With a splendid base. My strongest j uh, My strongest j -pets. Flashing lights. Happy bravery. <laughs> My energy! <laughs> Tender, loving care! Fresh cooking! Organization! Star Walker! And mostest of all, whatever is this thing it is! Are we doing punch out with the dark headed Mac? <gasps> oh, finally a worthy apartment. Round one. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, do I remember how to do this? Oh, oh shit, it's not actual, um, thing again. Um, Giga Queen, uh, sucky attacks, better dodge, self fix. Okay. Ah. Oh, the time for words is over. Now is the time to fight only. Ha. Huh. So my only act options are healing. Ducky attacks and better dodge. Sucky attacks and better dodge. Chat, telling me that it's safe for me to attack and to not worry about not attacking in this pacifist run. No. No, little, little bit, little bit spoilery. <laughs> Look, all of you are doing it, chat. I, sure, okay, if there's no way to do it other than fighting, I'll do it by fighting. But I would have liked to have tried it without fighting. And maybe I'd have got my ass kicked, but that's... I would like to try the non-violent things. Like, hey, remember in Undertale the first time that, like, you went up against a fight that you thought you had to do combat and that was the only way you were going to be able to do it? 
and then there was a way to do it non-violent or you tried to do it non-violent and it turned out there's no way but you had to attack and that was a really cool thing to work out to learn uh, okay. Turbo dodge. The time has come for Noel to realize her true strength. Her own will and determination. Yeah, that's still doing damage. Okay. Okay, yeah, there is no option to mercy. Okay. Okay, let's see what the other option does. And the whole world is covered in darkness. Yeah, Pixel Jack, here's the thing though, that doesn't mean you can't mercy her, or it does, because you've all told me I can't mercy her. But like, um, what, what's, uh, King Asgore? King Asgore in Undertale. He literally fucking destroys the, um, the mercy button with his sword. You can still avoid actually killing him. Like, you... There is a... Like... And, like, look. I, maybe that's not going to happen here. It sounds like it's not going to happen here. But, like... Go, may, uh, going, like, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight. Realizing that there was no other way. Doing it. Feeling terrible. And then finding a way out of it. Like, that was a whole journey. Yeah, Gumball Master, you don't have to kill Asgore. And, like, you all, you have to, like, attack him a bunch, but then when you've attacked him a bunch, you then get the option to spare him and to not kill him. Okay. Oh. Most of keep sorting new lines, that's kind of progression. Okay, I'm just gonna dodge. I I thought that my attacks were gonna do less damage because I had the duck thing on. I thought that's what it meant by sucky attacks. You gonna make it easier for me to dodge? Susie, bro, just let me karate chop you and you can have as many skateboards as you want. I keep accidentally punching her without intending to by mashing through the text. Okay. Does the TP cost for healing increase every time you heal? Huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Tyne and Wolf, that's wonderful. That's great. <laughs> I believe in the heart of the cards. Queen, I'm sorry I keep punching you when I don't mean to. I'm gonna see how far I can get with this without doing a fight. Yeah. You're gonna procedurally loop your dialogue now, okay. Okay. I was wondering, is there an endpoint to the dialogue I'm gonna reach? Okay.
Yeah, I feel like this just isn't going to do anything. Okay, chat has made it clear I have to attack, so I'm going to attack. Or I'm going to Google and confirm before I assume I have to attack, just because chat said. Okay. I mean, multiple people said you have to fight her. Yeah, you are here to fight, don't be afraid. Uh, you have to fight, don't fear attacking. There's no attack. Uh, there's no non-attack way to beat this. Yeah, may maybe you Multiple people in chat have said things that sure sound like they were implying there is no non-fighting way to. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Use defense and counter her attacks or whatever. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, dark and green. Yeah, everyone fucking made that clear. I, it's very clear I don't have to use the fight button, but I do have to win the mech fight. Like, I didn't get a chance to not think that would be the case. Um, yeah, okay, I will just use the fucking mech to, to fight her. Um, well, I mean, people in this chat have no fucking self-control, if I'm honest. I was in this fight for like 10 fucking seconds before I got told you have to fight her. You can't not fight her. Sorry. You're all lovely. But this has been a frustrating game to stream. Uh, I've been sent a work thing I have to check quickly. Adult Witch, have a lovely evening. Uh, right. Alright, one sec. There we go. Yeah, no, no, Renu, I, I foolishly had some. First of all, I foolishly had some confidence in chat too. If I put no back seating and no spoilers. To not backseat or spoiler me. Secondly, I had a bit of a nightmare week this week, and if I didn't play this on stream, I wasn't going to have a chance to play it for a while, and it was going to get spoiled for me if I stuck around. Like, Twitter was already getting full, full of spoilery art. Um, I was having trouble dodging, so I was like, I'll play it on stream. That way, I can do it, and I can. I love this game, so I can enjoy it with chat, because chat really enjoys me streaming Delta Room, but like. I think when chapters 3 through 5 come out, I either have to stream them the second they come out, like the minute they release, or I might just not stream them. And I recognise that everyone has had a really good time watching these Delta Room streams, but I'm going to be really honest, I haven't... I've had a really frustrating time streaming them, and... As these streams have gone on, I've gone like, okay, one more chance, one more chance. If we can get through a stream, with everyone being chill, cool, we'll keep going. Yeah. 
Yeah, but I don't want to emotes only chat. I don't like being like, hey, you can come watch me play, but you can't talk. That feels sucky. Either I do stream with people able to chat, and I'm not going to do subscriber only mode. I'm never going to charge, like, lock chatting behind money, but, like, let me try the thing. I don't think it has helped. It's, it's not one any specific person. I don't want any specific person to have to apologize, but, like, maybe I'll feel differently when Chapter 3 comes out, but it has been very frustrating streaming this. I get that everyone is excited, but also, like, I don't think I could have made it, like, any more explicit over these last three streams. Can you just let me discover stuff on my own and don't stress if I miss something? Yeah. I mean, Pat Pease, I... I would have said that, but also people were like, could you please stream your first stream? I would really love to see someone's first impressions. And I trust this community, which is why I was like, yeah, I'll... Yeah. Right, turbo dodge. Uh. Okay, cool. Yeah, Danilin, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll still stream chapters 3 through 5, but like... Streaming chapter 2 as my first experience has not made me want to stream chapters 3 through 5, and that's the thing that I kind of want to make clear, is like, hey, I get that people are excited, but all you're going to do is you're going to scare people away from wanting to stream their first experiences of Delta Room stuff. Um... And like, yeah, I might stream them the second they come out. I might just play them off stream and I'll stream them, but you won't get my first experience. I'll work something out. Um. I mean, look, if you want to, yeah, well, here's the thing, chat. If you want to tune in for my first experience, you've got to make me want to share my first two experiences on stream. Yeah, maybe YouTube, but it's not the same. You... <laughs> yeah. Oh, NF Redo, that's lovely. I'm really glad you enjoyed it, and I hope you check out the book. I'm very proud of the book. Okay, yeah, the heal is getting more expensive over time. Okay, so the deal is I am supposed to be doing this fight, like, quicker, because, like, the more it drags on, the more expensive my heals get, which is bad. Yeah, I see. I probably fucked myself over by trying to not fight for a while, but I wanted to try it. Uh... I mean, Cinnamon Robin, it's it's not the first time an Undertale has done a thing where you had to fight a thing to get its health real low to then not actually kill the person inside. That's not uncommon for a, a Toby Fox game. It's just discovering that this is one of those is a thing that usually is an experience. It's a part of the experience. Like, discovering which one is a... Yeah, I, I don't necessarily. Yeah, I don't even necessarily think it's it's thematically inappropriate. It's just, yeah, I'm gonna redo that because I spent way too long and it made everything di way more difficult than it needed to be. I 
Okay, cool. Let's let's fight. Um, sorry, one second. Sorry about this. I'm juggling a bunch of things. Right. Okay. Click back into the game. Sorry about the uh, sorry about the wait there. Having to reassure someone that I am not upset with them because I wait. I didn't respond to them because I was streaming. I'm like, nope. I stream till one a.m. every Monday. I'm not ignoring you. I promise. I'm not mad. Okay. Um. Self fix. Here we go.
Oh. This is gonna be a real tough fight. I might leave this and finish this off on Wednesday and then, like, go into some Hades or something, maybe. Um, because I suspect there's gonna be a bunch to do after this fight. Like, there's gonna be a bunch of narrative and it's coming up to one in the morning. I'm gonna... Have one more go. You gotta fucking kill me. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to finish this on the uh, next stream. I will be back streaming the end of this on Wednesday. Um, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Again, sorry, I got a bit moany about spoilers. I got a bit grumbly. I apologise. I'm trying to not let it bother me. Um, it's been a lovely stream. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, reminder, I've... Uh, Got a, got a book that I'm doing with Jane. There's a link in the chat. Uh, I will finish this off on Wednesday. I hope you all have a lovely day. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>